welcome back to my garage. Today we're playing with the nitromethanol injection system of this engine. But first a little recap to get everybody on board here. Here's what's to become the world's most powerful two-stroke. Horsepower versus cylinder capacity. That's not clickbait, it's not a joke, I'm serious. I, I really think this can be the most powerful two-stroke. Horsepower versus cylinder capacity. Yet, 100% of bore width exhaust port, which is impossible with normal pistons and rings. And that's why Mark Atkinson has made this piston for me, which has, or actually this is the old version. It's actually shipping the new version of this piston today with some improvements. But it's a two-piece piston with a captive ring. So there's a hole in the ring there, and there's a corresponding pin in that in the top ring land, so or the ring land roof, so that it can't expand too much and snag on that uh, on that giant exhaust port. There's pretty aggressive porting, even without that exhaust port too. The transfers are are really good in my opinion. Two intakes. There's a primary here. It has a manifold for this carb, a PWK Kahin 28 millimeters. But it's really going to be run with a small pumper carb, like this. This is just for starting and bringing it up to uh, RPM. At RPM, this takes over. So this is the secondary intake. And it's this is read valve. On this side there's no valve. So this relies on this velocity stack and the resonance to, to feed the engine. Resonance and inertia of the, of the column here to feed the engine without any valve at all. So this is meant to be run just always open and there's no read valve here. With this open you could put your finger in here and touch the crank when it's running. You might notice there's no fuel here, it's just air. And that's because the injectors are here. There's two injectors. One for methanol and nitromethane and one for pure nitro. We're going to be testing with just the methanol and nitro injection first. As nitromethane likes to be run really rich and it's bringing almost enough oxygen to be stoichiometric, we can just, in theory at least, just pour in more and more nitro without adding more air and it should produce more power. This is a methanol and water injection nozzle, meant for water and methanol injection in, um, in engines. And I'm using it for almost that, only I'm not using it for methanol and water, I'm using it for methanol and nitromethane. As a check valve, so it won't drip. It is closed when it is closed. And also the fuel won't return when you shut off the pump. So um, yeah, a nice, really nice, nice little jet. Here's the test bench, a fuel line from a tank you can't see up here into a filter, a high pressure fuel pump, not meant for methanol and certainly not nitromethane, I must add. A Teflon line which just goes up into the tank now and this will be connected to the injectors. I did make a video a long time ago where I did some initial testing of this setup and to find out how much voltage and like what signal I have to feed the pump to ballpark the fuel I need for, for my engine to run. I forgot to mention the engine is, it has a variator. So here's that variator, a fixed rear pulley and uh, the whole engine is spring loaded and allowed to move. And that spring tension will be electronically controlled to, to keep the engine at peak power RPM all the time. So constant load, constant RPM, and and that's how I'm able to run such a crude setup because it is basically just one amount of fuel all the time. Wide open throttle, constant load, constant RPM. I will create a table that will account for uh, air pressure and temperature and stuff like that to vary the amount. But uh, there's no map, there's no mapping for throttle opening and uh, manifold pressure and stuff like that. It's just wide open, constant load, constant RPM. Let's hook up one of the injectors and test it. Test it alongside the valve opening with the servo and see like how it's timed. I'll set my GoPro to the highest frame rate and we can see 
if that gives us any information about how when we have to open the fuel and stuff like that stuff like that Electronically controlled intake valve and injection test bench, Arduino, the motor driver for the injection pump, power supply for the servo, just feeding the servo and the motor a PWM signal. So there's no, no real sketch involved here, no real programming. That will change when we will start playing with the transmission, the electronically controlled transmission. That will control when the intake is allowed to open and the injection allowed to inject. I watched the footage and it's apparent that the valve is opening far too late or the injector is starting to inject far too soon for how slowly the valve opens. We'll have to put in a delay there between when the valve starts opening and when the injector starts injecting. And that servo is just a quick first test thing. We will make, if we keep the servo, we'll get a faster and more powerful servo. Might go to a solenoid or some linear actuator, something else. but. Uh, but I can't continue testing in here because uh, just one little spark and it will be a pretty unpleasant experience. So further testing of the injection and the valve opening timing will be done outside to not burn down the garage and kill myself in the process. Those pistons are on their way, won't be long now. And we've got the dyno to build. And someone offered to send me something that will make a pretty ludicrous side project. Uh, possible so stay tuned for that. I won't tell you anymore. For this project to work I will need a moped of some kind though Preferably with gears so but uh, it doesn't have to be working or the engine has to be the gearbox has to be fine the clutch The cylinder and that all that stuff can be crap. I only need the engine without the cylinder I'm not gonna use the cylinder. I'm not gonna use that cylinder at least so preferably a working bike if you're located in Norway and has something you want to sell me for cheap. Doesn't have to be anything great at all. Just like a rolling chassis with a with an engine in it. Pretty in pretty good shape. Please let me know. Send me a mail. There's a link to my mail in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.